and here we are again in Power Director, already loaded with a timeline and some edits now. In this one, we're covering um, what I did earlier on the other video that, that I made, and that was just a test demo. Now, what you'll notice here is that uh, first up, we've got some text, and this text is coming in as default um, with no fade. And you can notice I've already put four lines of text, and you can see that it just arrives. So if I just play it, I'll show you what I mean. And it's arrived. And this is a difference when you know when when you're in a hurry, you don't know what you're doing. And so, in other words, watch the difference with um, a five-line text with a fade. Watch. So there we go. Stop that, and I'll show you what happens now. Now, what happens with the fade is that it detects the center, which happens to be line three. Then it goes in and looks at lines two and four. In other words, symmetry, top and bottom and then loads in at the top there. So in a hurry, I want to get a message across. You know, I'm, I'm a teacher by trade. So therefore, quickest message to get this text in is just arrive it on screen. If I did want to, to do something a little bit more elaborate, especially on single line text, then the fade is really, really good. Okay, so that's over and done with. We can get on to the other bit of the video. So that, then what I started to do is I loaded a clip here which um, I took on this mobile phone when I was in the woods and it was raining. And then what I've started to do is just play around with the stickers. And the stickers can be quite interesting. And um, first up, um, if you wanted to add a new sticker, this is where you find them. And that is that you go to Effects. And they class it as an effect. <laughs> no, they don't. Got that wrong, didn't I? So you go into... Here we go. Yeah. You go into an extra layer and you select sticker. Now when I first opened this up, I believe that you had the camera focus. Now at this point uh, it was that my microphone battery ran out, so I'm doing this voiceover over uh, the top of the video. So all I'm showing on screen is that uh, we've got a few effects that are built in to uh, PowerDirector, and I'm looking at going to um, some of the effects of how they work. So that's an animation with a thumbs up, we can relax a little bit here because the video is carrying on and I'm talking over the top. Then I'm scrolling through and I'm looking at all the different ones. Now the ones that say new next to them, I've gone along and I've downloaded them for free from PowerDirector Web. That's a clock of course, nice animation if used correctly. And I um, haven't paid for any of these animations, it's just that a couple were built in and the rest are available on the internet when you get them. So I'm scrolling through there and having a look to see subtly which ones we could actually go and use in a good video making process. Here's one that I looked at which was a stamp and I thought how do we use this? Maybe it's good to make a lot smaller and put on the top right of a slide and we can maybe fake an envelope for a bit of storytelling. What did I do next? I looked at a wink here which um, is alright but maybe a bit smaller in the corner or something. It might be nice but as an animation I probably won't be using that one. Then we go along and we say to ourselves, what would happen if I looked online? And I tried to, but as my phone was in airplane mode for saving um, screen recording, I didn't do that. And then I carried on uh, to try and show you here exactly what's going on in terms of... Where did we go next? Let's wait a minute, shall we? Oh yeah, I, I recorded this uh, woodland clip. And um, I've made the video, as I say, which I put on YouTube earlier. And I've gone through, and we can see the woodland clip, and we can subtly get over the top of it a transparent um, animation which shows a video camera and recording. And we can, sorry, we can look at some of the other subtle ones, like this one is um, in the corners faking a old school uh, camcorder. And then just on the very bottom of the line there, you can see that it comes up with a focus. Um, and again, you used right, it might just be a subtle way to saying, you know, here we are looking at something. Um, mobile phones don't give you that those overlays automatically. Then what did we do? We carried on, and I really like this one because this is a book, and uh, like a magical book. I could quite imagine, you know, using this, this, you know, open the book and the story begins type thing. And, you know, it's quite good. Some of them, you'll see in a second or two, uh, are looking at um, needing a very light white screen. Of course, you can see there that um, we need the white screen to show the numbers 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. 
and we can uh, make this bigger and smaller so that's quite a nice old school counting down look to zero and then it goes in and then what I did after that was we, we looked at building some animations and I've actually used um, my own pointer there and I'm going to demonstrate how that works and for the last part of this video we're going to do a quick custom button um, pan and zoom so I've added in a green dot and I'm going to make that green dot zoom through the animation just to make sure that I know how to do it so I've opened up um, the settings pan and zoom and I want a custom and the start position I'm going to have while pinching uh, the image is to be nice and small and up on the top right and I'm going to leave it about there and then I click to the right bottom end position and that's going to be quite big and it will do the calculation of moving from top right small to bottom left big end position then when that's done and we go back and we say yes OK and then we can play the animation and what you'll see let's have a look there it goes look zoom in through on a weird custom animation and I think um, that's pretty much the end of this video apologies for uh, my microphone battery packing up that is bad form we don't really want to do that do we